I believe that this... I pulled Nergat in the butt. ...and this are connected. How? Well, besides from having the same characters, if you break down the basic plot of Star Park, you can see similarities. For instance, the basic premise is that we train an army by playing Brawl Stars, helping Star Park and the world. I have a theory humans play on their smartphones for each game. You could think of it as Clash of Clans being its own park, like how Disney has Disney World and Disneyland. And this makes a lot of sense because Star Park Corporation wants to take over the world. Okay, you don't believe me? Well, do you remember the Barbarian and Bull crossover, which ties together different elements and characters from seemingly separate worlds? <laughs> and let's not forget Bali's wizard skin. It's not just a cosmetic change, it also hints at a deeper connection across the Star Park universe. And I know everything I'm saying sounds like absolute jargon, and some of it definitely is. But I think this is incredible. It really helps show the expansiveness of Supercell's lore and how they really care about their fans. And if you don't know Star Park lore, let me explain. Basically, a meteor shot down from the sky and gave superpowers to the brawlers, making them hypercharged and changed their erratic behavior into killer behavior. And perhaps Star Park spread this meteor to other parks to allow other creations to unfold. And we've seen this in multiple games. So I think this really holds a lot of merit with Clash Royale and Clash of Clans. And Squad Busters, it could be the combination of all these games. And really, the final phase of Star Park's plan. To destroy our world. That's their end goal. They're going to come to our universe and take over our world. And there's no way to defeat them, because at the end of the day, we're going to spend our money and train these battlers to help Star Park take over the world. While I keep blabbering on, you guys are going to be shivering in your boots, because there's no way to stop this apocalypse. The brawlers are coming. Not Every like time we get an update in this game, it's just a reminder that these characters are getting more advanced. Look at some of the robotic updates, and even Spongebob, a cartoon character that can't be destroyed. And let's just say, I have a theory that all these characters are going to become the perfect combination for Star Park, allowing them to perfectly take over our world. Hopefully, since Squad Busters is failing, they add new game modes, like potentially a story mode to allow us to see this unfold. Perhaps we could see the Barbarian and Shelly. This could even enrich the fan bases of Squad Busters, Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, and well, Brawl Stars. Because really, the fans have been really upset. And Boom Beach is, well, it's completely gone, and it's made me kind of just really sad. And that's the story of Squad Busters. Good for the lore, bad for us. If you guys are interested in me covering more Brawl Stars lore, please comment below. I love Brawl Stars a lot, and it really made this channel for me. I hope we can continue to have Brawl Stars discussions. After that, comment below. After that, icy icy out.